Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Here we are with our final guest today, saving the best for last, maybe, huh? Thank you. Well, flu season, it runs from October to May, but since getting your vaccination ahead of the season, it can actually be a helpful thing. I don't think it's too early to start talking about flu vaccination. So with me, I have Dr. Eric Hewitt from the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Monona. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. So uh, we hate to say it, but yeah, flu season is around the corner. Yes. And uh, why is it important? You know, a lot of people might think it's a little early, like you had mentioned. You know, a um, couple of things with that, though. Um, insurance companies, including Medicare and all the experts that deal with this stuff, recommend that you get it as soon as it's available. Um, and most times that is, is the month of August. I know we get our vaccine um, in August. Um, and the idea behind that is that it takes about two weeks to kind of kick in and be fully effective and preventative for the flu. Um, and really the, the season, they have seen the flu season hit as early as September. And so um, it's really one of those things where, you know, the sooner it's available, the sooner you can get it, the, the better. Um, and basically what you're doing is just protecting yourself against a nasty, nasty, you know, flu virus that can knock people down and put people in the hospital and in severe cases actually um, cause death in certain people. Sure, in extreme cases, yeah. right. Uh, um, so if you're going to get it anyway, you might as well get it earlier, right? Exactly, Is, is exactly. what it sounds like you're saying. Yep. So let's talk about the populations. Who, who, yep. who should be getting it? So there's only a few small populations that, that are not going to be eligible for it. Um, and first of all, that's babies under the age of six months uh, of age. Um, so with those types of people, you're going to want to do what they call a cocoon effect or make sure that everybody that comes in contact with somebody that age um, is vaccinated to prevent the, the exposure there. Um, and then there's also the people that have a severe allergy to eggs um, because it, there are eggs used in the process of producing the vaccine. So if you have a severe allergy to eggs or, or are, you know, less than six, have a child that's less than six months old. Those are two main categories of people that probably should pass on it. You know, that's really an interesting way to do it. Instead of talking about who needs it, to just talk about who doesn't, and it's kind of everybody else. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we, we, we really push that at the pharmacy to, to vaccinate. Whoever is eligible for it, definitely get it. And now there are different options these days, so um, tell me about that. Sure. Um, obviously, there's the shot. I mean, that's obviously the thing that's going to come, you know, f first uh, to people's minds. Yes. Um, there's also nasal sprays, um, and uh, there's also an intradermal, which is just means it's just under the skin. It doesn't go all the way into the muscle like the uh, the typical flu shot does. Um, there's different age considerations for those types of things as well. Um, so definitely have a conversation with your doctor, or your pharmacist, to figure out which one is best for you. So there is differences in uh, efficacy or. Uh... Or is it um, just comfort or? It's some, sometimes it's comfort. Um, sometimes it's uh, what it's been studied and what it's approved for. Um, you know, the, like I said, the one under the skin, um, you have to be over 18. The nasal spray, you have to be over two years of age. So um, for those other special age groups, you know, it tends to be, you know, something where it just hasn't been studied in those age groups and they want to keep it to that. But as far as efficacy is concerned, they're all going to have pretty much the same efficacy. All right. And if folks received one last fall, they need another one this year? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> it's never never a good uh, you know, thing. You know, you never get excited about going to get a shot. But um, but yeah, they have different strains that they pick every year that they feel are gonna be the most prevalent um, in the flu season. And so the, the the flu shot for this season will be what they feel is gonna be most prevalent. So um, you need to kind of get that flu shot every year to maintain your, your coverage. The, the flu du jour. <laughs> yes, exactly, if you will, yes. And August isn't too soon. You said you, you're already receiving them this month, or you will be. Absolutely, and I, I, I've seen advertisements for other pharmacies and clinics and stuff like that starting to, to come on board as well. Um, August, like I said, is really the big shipping month for those uh, vaccine producers to get it out there. And like we talked about before, the sooner, if you're going to get it, the sooner the better to make sure you're covered. All right. What are some of the insurance considerations when you're thinking about getting your flu shot? I always recommend, you know, we've talked about this in other, you know, shows and different aspects. Always check with the pharmacist. Um, they can always be, you know, a great resource for that to make sure there's coverage there. Um, a lot of insurance companies these days are covering vaccines, not only at the doctor's office, 
but also at pharmacies because it's a little bit easier for access. You sure. know, you don't have to make a big appointment. You know, you don't have to go to a specific flu shot clinic at the medicine shop. We do a drop-in basis when we start our, when we get our vaccines. That is really good to know. Yeah. We're about out of time. How can folks find you in Monona? Where are you? We are right located right on Monona Drive um, at 4205 Monona Drive, right by Winnicott Road. And you'll be there. I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Always good to chat with you. Thanks to all of our guests. And thank you for watching Talk of the Town. We'll see you next time on the CW57.